I think that we do have a problem in only having one mathematics at matric level. It has produced enormous problems for people wanting to continue into the kind of technical and artisan careers. We've blocked a pathway that was previously open to them. The one matric maths is trying to do two very different things simultaneously. The one, prepare people for further study in mathematics at university level, and the other, provide a basic level in mathematics for people who will need to use some of that mathematics in their technical careers. If you look at some of the statistics, um, basically, the, while we've seen improvements in 2012 from previous years on pass marks getting about uh, people passing metric to about almost 74%, uh, but still, there's a vast population of the schools that still don't have, as Graham pointed out, teachers. There's about 2,800 um, teachers that we're short of in mathematics and about 2,500 teachers that we're short, short of in science, in physical science and imparting physical science, especially to those 15 to 16,000 schools that are, that are government-funded uh, and led. While in Gauteng, we don't necessarily have a shortage of teachers because teachers from other provinces want to work here, we do nevertheless find that we have teachers who, are, who do not have adequate curriculum knowledge, are not able to adequately examine on the curriculum. There's a close relationship between the teaching of language and the teaching of mathematics because often the problems that children have is that they, they haven't got fluency in the language of instruction. It's not a maths problem, it's a, it's a cognitive language problem. One of the reasons why so many children don't choose to do maths and science at, secondary, at, at senior secondary school level is that they don't understand that these are gateway learning subjects and they don't understand the kinds of subject combinations that will get them in to be researchers or to, to be able to, to work uh, with a telescope. So helping children to understand if you want to be a doctor, you can't do maths literacy and biology it's not going to enable you to take that particular career choice. There are a lot of people doing great stuff, whether it's the Math Centre at WITS, whether it's Cybono or Cape Town Science Centre, or CASMI in KwaZulu-Natal and the Free State. There are lots of people and NGOs who are doing stuff. So let us draw on these resources and experience, as well as Zimbabwean teachers. Let us get officials better at pointing the way to assistance. Schools and districts need to get better at drawing in help. NGOs need to collaborate more and inform themselves of what is in the field.